scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Listen carefully. So the word of God, when he appeared upon the earth, a name was given to him and that name is Jesus. So Jesus is not just the word of God. Jesus is that word that anywhere you see the word of God is talking about that person. The person who was with God, the person who was God. When he appeared upon the earth, he was given a name, Jesus. Are we still together? Then the Bible now goes further to tell us that Jesus came to demonstrate the potency of the word. Now Jesus began to show us the possibilities of the word of God. We have a right to doubt whether he really is the word of God except by the performance that we see. So Jesus goes to a man who had been sick for 38 years at Bethesda. Remember the story? And then the man beckons on him and he says, well, what do I do for you? Can I help you? And he says, I've been lying down here 38 years. If it is true that he is the word of God, he should be able to demonstrate the power of that word, dominion even over time. He lifts that man and defies that natural process. Because ordinarily the man, if Jesus were to help him, he would have put somebody to stand close. So that if the angel moves the water, he will push him quickly. But he said, no, what, I am the word. Uh, I don't depend on factors. I create the factors. I can choose as an act of my will and my love. Are we together now? Do you know why I'm teaching you this? Because the law of process is a very potent law that works in our world. But let me tell you, when you encounter the word legitimately, you can defy the law of process. That, that have you heard that in one day a nation is born? But it says that as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. It means that it is possible tomorrow by this time Someone can return for this program With your hands on your head wondering and saying See what the Lord has done That from night till morning He turned my morning into dancing And my sorrow to joy May that be your case in Jesus name Now watch this When Jesus came He came to validate the power of the word of God and to prove that indeed he was that word. Now, please look at me. I want to introduce a very powerful concept now. Let's recap everything we said about the word. That there is no impossibility with the word. Is that true? That if it is the word of God, it has dominion and equal value in every realm. Now, Jesus shows up as the word of God. Do we agree that Jesus is the word of God? The shock pastor is that we see Jesus in carrying out his ministry there were some miracles that could not happen ah now we have a problem here I thought the word of God should be able to do everything do you agree with me we see the word of God creating the heavens and the earth the Bible says that word was with God now Jesus comes as the incarnate that word and Jesus stands before people and he's limited. There were some things he could not do. Ah, he's showing us something from his limitation 
why the word does not work in our lives. Listen carefully. Hmm. The Bible is not ashamed and afraid to let you know that even though the word was working, he went to certain cities and prayed for the sick and they could not be healed. So it, I'm not surprised that it is not working for you. It then means that as powerful as the word of God is, it does not work in every condition. It may work in every realm. It may work in every dimension. However, it is activated by certain conditions. Are you following me, please? That the word of God, as powerful and as potent as it is, there is a condition that can be created that that word will be limited. And many of us, Satan has deceived us. He tried to stop you from getting the word. Since he found out you could not, he now created the condition that makes the word of God of non-effect. So that it is possible that you are carrying scripture, quoting scripture, reading scripture, and yet you will not see what the Bible says the word should do. Jesus is in your heart. You are meditating on scripture. You believe what it can do, and yet it does not happen. Please pray in one minute while you are seated. Say, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. All of the overflows everywhere. Cry for the opening of your eyes. Pray in one minute. Shalagra super hasi beyadara. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the next thing I want to discuss with you is a very interesting statement that happened between Angel Gabriel and Mary. The Bible says the word became flesh. Is that true? John is teaching us now. Let's look at Luke's synoptic account. Luke chapter 1, please, and verse 34. Then we'll jump to verse 45 for sake of time. The angel comes with glad tidings, just to hurry up and cut time. He comes to Mary and says, you are favored, you are highly favored, this and that and that, and tells her what will happen, that she was going to bear a child. But the angel says, listen, the way you will have this child is going to be an interesting way and I'm coming to explain it to you. You are not going, Joseph is not going to play that role. The natural course of biology and reproduction will be altered. Yet, it is a real child that will come. Now Mary was surprised and she asked a question. Then said Mary unto the angel, how shall these things be? Seeing I know not a man, I am a virgin. The man you are talking about, I've not even married him. So how does it happen that you say, I'm going to get pregnant? The angel gives her an answer that we'll visit later on. No, let's go to 35 and then we'll jump just to put it in context. The angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also, that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Keep note with that scripture. 45. And blessed <laughs> is she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told her. In other words, the performance of the word depends on this condition. Mary, I am a real angel. I'm not fake. What I told you is really the word of God. But I'm introducing to you a condition that if not satisfied, will make me look like a liar. You will remain for a long time. Your womb will not respond. When I call you blessed and highly favored, it is true. But here is what makes you blessed. Blessed. Do you know what it means to be blessed? You are now empowered to see the result. Blessed is she 
that believed for there shall be a performance to who the one who believed not the one who heard the one who believed not the one who read the one who believed not just the one who heard that this can happen please hear me right here is the condition that many believers have not studied that as powerful as the word of god is whether it is the speakings of god his thoughts logos that even if jesus were to come here right now physically you would think if jesus were to come here and says apostle go and sit down i am jesus you will be surprised how many people will still not be healed how many people will still not be changed because sometimes we give a narrative as though if jesus suddenly showed up here every problem will automatically vanish i agree with you potentially but if this condition is not met he tried it when he walked upon the earth are we driving safely what then is this condition that is so powerful that the word of god that created everything can stand helpless the bible says blessed is she that believe jesus the son of god i believe in you shabala supradia i believe Sing it one more time. Now you are not just singing a song. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Apostle, so this is the reason why I do not see extraordinary results. It is not impotency on the part of the word. Everything God told you, either directly through your ears or through scripture or through his prophets is potent. But you have failed to create the condition that makes for the supernatural to work. Please listen. God brought you to church to show you the one thing that many of us may have been missing. No wonder for some of us right now, you are even angry because you feel every man of God is lying to you. Why is it that I travel everywhere from redemption camp to this to everywhere and nothing happens? Yet you are seen in that same place. There are other testimonies coming. And do you know something? Strangely, I don't know. I hope it does not happen that way here. Most people who are closer to the anointing and the vessel seem to be the ones that never receive. They were robbing on Jesus. I'm coming there. And a woman with the issue of blood said, I don't have time to waste. You are seeing him every day. But my uncleanliness, I'm a stranger. You are robbing on him. You sleep on the same bed. But as for me, this is a chance that I have. If I miss out on it, and she touched the hem of his garment. And Jesus said, stop. Something has happened. Power flows from the word. Don't forget. Because the power that will flow to you tonight is coming from that word. Jesus said, among the many people trivializing my presence, there is somebody who has seen the value. Somebody created the condition. That means this condition is so powerful that even if you do not talk directly to him, provided the condition was there, Jesus did not intend to heal her. No, this is not about his will. This is about the condition. The moment that power saw that there was faith. So that's what it is called. Faith. Ah. Hmm. Please sit down. Hebrews. 11 and verse 1. So that is what it is called. Faith. Now, faith is. Now, 
11 and verse 1 Hebrews now faith is he calls it the substance of the things you hope for and the evidence of the things not seen hallelujah it says for by it it is not the word that is it it is the faith that is it for by it the elders obtained don't worry about what they obtained it's just that they obtained then verse 3 he now begins to put scripture in perspective through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God now the equation is getting complete it was the word of God that made it happen. But what, what is the condition? Through faith, we understand that the word of God, the words were framed by the word of God so that the things that are seen were not made of things which do appear. So faith becomes the connecting line between unseen realities. Listen, I want to teach you something. It is not faith that produces the miracle faith is what connects you to the source of the power look at this there are wires here if you can see the the light does not come from the wire but the wire the light must come through the wire because the wire has a unique ability of stretching till it reaches the source this speaker may not be able to be connected to the source but you can put a wire and draw it no matter how far it will get there. That's your faith. Listen carefully, please. That the supernatural is an interplay, number one, between the word of God and the spirit of God. Number two, between your faith and the anointing. Your faith, the interplay between your faith in the word of God and the anointing. Is what produces the supernatural the anointing can be there but if your faith does not create the condition pastor for a long time we've had a dichotomy in the body of Christ as to which is superior so there are people who choose faith and there are those who choose anointing or power there is no such teaching in scripture that the faith of God and the power of God have always worked in synergy to produce God's dimension of results you can't say I have power and then I have faith. No, that's not scriptural. It's like saying I have light or nepa or whatever electricity and another person says I have the wire. Both of you can stand helpless. I'm holding the fuse, all right? Power the mic, let's see. Another person says I'm holding the wire. Both of you will be frustrated eventually. For one, you will keep being shocked by light that does not give you anything. For one, you will hold a long wire that is a real wire but not producing anything. But when two of them come together, they now produce the light. You see the potency of what was coming from the power holding company when it is connected. So if you put your trust in faith, should I say this? Your trust is not in faith. Your trust is in Jesus. I hope you know the concept of faith can also be idolatry. Faith is not what died for you. Uh -uh. Faith is not what blesses you. Faith is a spiritual mechanism that connects you to the power of God. I'm sure some of you are wondering and saying this man again. Listen, I'm like a mechanic fixing a car tonight. We're just identifying the areas. The reason why we say a lot of things and it does not happen. I'm showing you where the problem is. Because there are people who our confidence is in the concept of faith. Not the God of heaven. So you believe because the Bible says things like this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. Uh -uh. The focus is not the faith. The focus is the person. The Bible is speaking to those who are, had already been built and mentored in a certain way. So it is free to say certain things expecting that the people will understand the context. Are we together? Mm. 
faith what is faith faith is the name given to the action that you take faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his person faith is the name given to the action of obedience in fact that you take in one word faith is obedience more than confession confessing in disobedience is not faith in one word faith is obedience and without action there cannot be obedience the performance of the word of God is highly dependent on obedience we are breaking down the entire concept of faith faith in one word is obedience to the conditions that have been put that activates that promise of God listen to me every promise of God has a condition attached to it your Bible study is not complete just by knowing the promise you must know the condition connected to it Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 the Bible says it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God is it, is it in your Bible it says to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high now look at the promises he will set you on high above all the nations of the earth verse 2 it says and all these blessings shall come on thee who is the thee the thee who hearkens and does not the thee who just hears hallelujah praise the name of the lord are we blessed now let me illustrate something just one time let me use this handkerchief for no no let me not use handkerchief let me use something please forgive me but let me just use this somehow when you use money people understand now look at this are we together now watch this let me have any well-dressed responsible looking gentleman are you here anyone come please stand here my friend watch this if i tell him this is the promise i am making everybody say the promise, the promise. what is the promise that i will give him a thousand naira do you agree with me but the condition is that you must believe in me enough to walk and come to me are you getting it now so what is the promise that i will give you this is that true what is the condition now gentlemen do anything you want to do in response to this but don't come are you ready whether it's to speak whether it's to jump whether it's to cry I want to show you what a lot of us keep doing. Are you ready? Go ahead. I'm still standing here with integrity. This is it. He's kneeling down. He's going around. He's acting. He's even talking. He's worrying. He's discussing. Maybe adding herbalists from it and doing everything. And here I'm standing. I spoke to him in 2014. It has become 2016. It has become 2018. It has become 2019. Now hold on. From a referee standpoint, who does not have integrity? But based on what, if you cannot see me and you listen to him, you will hate me because of his condition. And yet he's reading every day that I love him, I am kind, I am gracious and compassionate. And here I've been standing with that promise. You wanted to come before, stand up. I want now that you know this come and stand here to the point that this man has come to join him in the same request and now he now heard the condition run and come and collect this now this guy gets oh dear please help him sorry this this was not part of the the the, the drama praise the name of the lord now watch this watch this god bless you ah please give him a seat though for falling down like this i mean that is the favor of god now but watch this are, are you learning something please don't waste what we are discussing hold on just keep him there 
just keep him there this guy has been there for 10 years time does not automatically make the word of god work and this guy just came from nowhere you say how did this guy just come from nowhere and now he's coming to receive because the one who obeyed is the one who walked in the experience of it listen let me tell you at what point mary became pregnant be it unto me be it unto me i agree i'm ready to take the responsibility be it unto me so when god says i will lift you as you say amen that's just part one you remain there you will be surprised your next prayer is lord what is my role of obedience to commit that performance this is why i came tonight to show you the missing link that as powerful as the word of god is there were people jesus did not heal in the crusade that means when jesus said stand up they sat down and they were watching when you read acts chapter 3 when they passed gate beautiful the bible says they saw that man who was lame is that in your bible and then it says silver and gold i do not have but such as i have i give unto you in the name of jesus rise up and walk read your bible well he sat down there the miracle did not happen go to verse 7 the bible says he took him he helped his faith to walk the guy sat down there and the power of god was in the air i can imagine angels saying don't waste this moment peter had to say i have to help you hold my hands the bible says he took him by the hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength he would have sat down there and peter says all right god bless you and he would have written a book god is not faithful so says my experience listen why am i sharing with you all these things that i'm sharing with you you can be like this man tonight or this man for some of you you were like this man since 1995 everything god told you he said in your lifetime there are people who have died and never saw what god said when they get to heaven and say god you are not faithful that the Jew spoke to me through you. I mean, you spoke through him to me. And God said, from the time he spoke, the power to make it good was there. But you did not understand that it is she that believes. For some of you, from day one, words have come. And you've been shouting. I hate to be a bearer of bad news. But if not that God is bridging this knowledge now, you will be surprised that seven days will come and pass. And you will go back and say pastor i don't understand is it that the witchcraft of my life is so terrible is it that the altar be... no the word of god looks as weak as your unbelief allows it so please you have to understand what i'm teaching you so our father the patriarch abraham God meets an idol worshiper from Ur of the Chaldeans, the Bible says. And he gives him an instruction. Come out of your father's house and out of your kindred and out of everyone to a land that I will show you. What did Abraham do? Obedience. He didn't understand everything but he left in faith. When we get to chapter 22, he said, Abraham, take now thy son, even thy only son whom thou lovest. Take him to one of the mountains and offer him as a sacrifice. The Bible says Abraham arose early and carried his son in faith. Ask any man today who you have seen the manifest power of God in their life. There was no guarantee anywhere. Somewhere in the equation of their life, they had to trust him. I easily remember my own life and I continue to see what God has done in and through my life today to the glory of his name can I tell you it is not because what he told me is different from what he told anybody I chose to become like this man 
when I got here I found many people standing there giving complaints and getting angry and saying join the queue God does not answer prayers and I said no there has to be something about God and the Spirit of God helped me to say listen more than what he has said it is what you do about what he has said that makes what he has said come to pass as for the word of God eternally it carries the power of God is someone learning hear me believers those following online and those in this place I took out time to act this drama on stage only to describe the two categories of people we have in this place right now there are those who are right here category one everything God has told you has not come to pass or by chance it looks like all has come to pass I'm explaining to you the few that have come to pass were the few that you acted on even if you did not know that was what you were doing for instance the dimension of power that you had seen in your life that came through the ministry of prayer and even with fasting because the Bible lets us know that these dimensions, these spiritual activities carry power. So you were just praying every day, one hour, two hour, fasting every day. And you began to find out that the power of God was growing. For you it was unconscious, yet your obedience was triggering the manifestation of the word. Are we together? There are many wicked people today with bumper harvests in their farm. Because once it is rainy season, they obey. And there is a dimension of the power of God that has been invested in his laws. It is true that they are terrorists and they are wicked people. But with respect to farming, they are obedient. And as they farm, they now allow the God of all flesh to reign. Who reigns upon the good and the bad. And he reigns. Righteousness is not a condition for that harvest. It can only be an accelerator. That's why even though they are in that condition, God will still honor his word. Because they acted. The Bible says, is any man afflicted? What is the condition? Let him pray. The last time you were afflicted, prayer was the last thing you did. You ran to everybody and you were complaining. And at the end of your complaint, you say, God, are you still watching me like this? For the rest of your time this year, remember my example. There is one with unbending integrity, standing with your promise. And saying, I am ever committed if you are ready to find out the condition. There are those who want to rise financially, pastor. And they will tell you superstitiously, I know one day God will do it. See what one day does. I've shown you, you've seen the tragedy of one day go better. That is only a wise saying that does not carry any power. I'm about to pray for you right now. And there are those who will go and open the Bible and say, Lord, I know it is your desire to prosper me. But now, you see, when the wealthy man came to Jesus, he said, good master, what must I do? That's a responsible man talking. Jesus had to tell him, no, no, no. When he has to do with salvation, it's not this one you have to just believe. He was, he was ready to say, what is my role? So you search scripture. Your Bible study has not ended until you find out your participatory point of obedience connected to every promise. Please do not just begin to rejoice when you find out what God has said. It will remain what he has said in the realm of the spirit. If the word must become flesh, what makes the word become flesh is your believing. Blessed is she that believes. Luke 1 45. For unto her there shall be a performance. Hallelujah. So, I search my Bible and I find out there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth meat and more than his meat and tends to poverty. That giving is connected to prosperity. I don't say, mm, I've gotten it. You will remain poor there. I now obtain grace from God. Listen, 
this is where the ministry of grace comes grace does not always do it for you it can empower you beyond your natural strength to do there is saving grace there is enabling grace this is what has, has put the body of Christ perpetually in the place of failure. If you ask me to lift this with one hand, this is too heavy for one hand ordinarily. Is that true? The assignment of grace is not to take away your hand and lift it. Uh -uh. The assignment of grace is to empower you unusually. But the lifting will be from you. So ordinarily, I would not be able to empty my account for the gospel. But when that giving grace comes, now I can empty my account and still be happy. And say, Lord, the Bible says there is he that scattereth. I have done this. At the point of your obedience, the word of God now produces a material called the power of God. Listen, in that light, Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 is the hiding place of his power the power of God hides in his light verse 4 if we look at it from amplified it says the brightness of that light the ray streamed from his hand and in that sun like splendor was the hiding place of his power now if later on in this man's life he came for seven days of glory and he's realizing that God told me I will be a great man of God and take the gospel to the nations. Lord, but why has my ministry not grown? The Holy Spirit now begins to show him that he has not cooperated with the word of God. What word? Number one, study to show yourself approved. A workman unto God, rightly dividing the word. Are we together? Mm. So he begins to show him the various things he has not done. And this person obtains grace and starts doing it. Sometimes walk slow and come. It's now your time to receive. This is what is happening to someone tonight. You may leave, but make sure you are walking. Gradually. While he's coming, we can be laughing at him. Shame on you. Ten years in church. Yes, you don't know that seven days of glory is doing something in his life. That at the end of seven days, finally. Here's your point now. Look at this. He will now receive this. This is his own now. And he can now sing personal song and say, see what the Lord has done. And all the mockers and the naysayers who say you would die with this, your church and Christianity thing. Suddenly, now you know what is missing. Man of God, it is not the word of God that lies to you. Someone prophesies over a woman who has been barren and saying the name of Jesus Christ you will have a child she says amen the husband says amen and two of them don't go back home and say i'm not talking of going back home to agree and say the same way god spoke we hold our hands and we agree that by this time next month you are that act of agreement is now their participatory the holy ghost is the first witness there as they are agreeing according to what the man of god said let me tell you why many people receive from our father in the Lord and others don't. In that campground or everywhere, while Baba is speaking, there are others who are just watching and happy. Amen. And laugh at the testimonies. There are others who return home and say, Father, I've been in this situation. I believe in you and I believe in your servant. He has spoken. You have spoken through him. Because the voice of God to Samuel always comes through the voice of Eli. Lord, I obtain grace. Oh, he gave an instruction. He said, everyone should dance and celebrate. Lord, I'm not good in dancing. That's not the issue. He didn't ask you if you're a dancer. Now you are celebrating and singing that song. And a script is marked in the realm of the spirit. That gate is opened. And you will find out after two weeks, someone will come and say, I did not apply for a job. And somebody said, I will make you the African representative of my company. And another person is angry there saying, but I, I live here. Finally, 
two of them have received and this is our prayer tonight that all those who have been in this category wishing and waiting and hoping and wondering there are many powerful men of God who may never rise because all they do is just amen, amen, and yet do not understand. There are many visionary, listen, now I'm going to say this, I say this to the glory of God, but he knows I'm so fond of him, my dear friend and brother Pastor Nat. There is almost no time that you come and talk with him and you see that either he's written a new song or he's done something, he's doing a new work. Don't say God is just lifting him. A word came for everybody. But the one who took that word to the studio and took that word, training with his team day and night, that is the one that the power of God moved over. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Every man of God received fire. Amen. Somebody will receive it and go and say, Father, thank you for this fire. I dedicate myself to three or five hours of study and of prayer and of consecration while you are doing that the power of god begins to gravitate towards you another person listens and says okay fine i've gotten it thank i know that man of god is not fake jesus was not fake but he still did not get some things done hallelujah when i listen to a man of god i'm not just listening to him declare what god has said most times what he's saying you may have heard before the real miracle in that sermon is finding the missing link why is the word of god not working for me aha this is it joshua chapter 1 verse 8 and we'll wrap up gentlemen i pray for you god will honor you in the name of jesus the same way you have received this it's not just money you received May God grant you favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Wealth will meet wealth in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Joshua 1 and verse 8. Hmm. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Many of you have done that first part congratulations for being diligent to meditate but it does not stop there that thou mayest observe to do according not to do the way you want to do according listen if god says honor your father and your mother and your days may be long if you want to use money as honor and you remove money and give our father here you count it as if you are bribing him 200 naira, daddy, God bless you. That is donation, not honor. Just because you gave money does not mean the blessings will come. Somebody who is thoughtful, you put it in an envelope, you go and say, daddy, they gave the same thing, but the conditions, remember conditions. While the chef is in the kitchen making, we're back to our making again. There is fire under creating the condition for the boiling to happen, for the frying to happen. You don't see the fire under. You may just see the pot and you see things working. Every time you see things working, check down. There is another dimension that is creating conditions. From the start of that cooking till it finishes, in most cases, you will see fire. So you are looking at a life excelling all you are seeing is the food check well there are practices of obedience covenants of consecration and many things that are being done you can mix the same thing but if there is no agency that creates the condition so you can buy a trumpet too like god's servant and blow it and you'll be surprised how people say you are disturbing us This is not a place for boys brigade. And you are saying, what is the meaning of this? And yet someone else is blowing that shofar. If you think the power is in the trumpet, you have missed it. Remember, as the food is happening, there is something, women, you understand this. Yes. When you see a woman gets pregnant, the first thing that happens to the woman 
is her pregnancy begins to bring her into a condition that makes it favorable for the baby is that true there are some the determination to create that condition can even necessitate a bed rest for as much as nine months you don't see the woman out again and you say where is this woman we've not been seeing her there is something she's carrying it's not about the womb it's about the condition the seed is already there but the seed can die what do you call barrenness barrenness is not necessarily the absence of the seed the inability for the reproductory conditions to allow fertilization and conception biology am i right so you can be receiving the seed of the word of god and you have refused to allow your life create that condition for some of you the condition is sin for some of you the condition is the flesh that you have been creating that has been fighting the word of god for some of you the condition is pride for some of you the condition is an i do no mentality what else can god show me aha uh -huh. not knowing that even in heaven you can come up hither for some of you the condition you have been creating is dishonor when a man of God is speaking, you are checking his English, checking his clothes, and saying, oh, no, this, this guy should not be speaking to me. Not knowing that if it's God that has commanded it, even a fish can carry coin. You can be looking for coins, and fishes are jumping out of the water. And you say, no, coins come, I'm, I'm an intelligent person. I understand mining. I need to know where gold is. And God says, I can put fish everywhere. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. By the privilege of God's grace, I have seen miracles in my life. And I say this to the glory of God. I have seen the power of God move. I have seen God do unimaginable things. Behind the mighty things that you see is a very small man with a sincere faith that doggedly obeys. If it be thou, bid me come. He didn't say, Peter, come. He said, come. Anybody who obeyed would have walked on water. If he said, Peter, come, we will say you are biased. If it be thou, bid me come. He said, Peter, mm -mm, come. And Peter took the step. Do you know the risk? That was not a little lake that children were playing in. And when he puts his feet, I'm sure other people, Thomas was saying, you must be stupid. You, be, you are wasting the wisdom of your adulthood. And he took that step and he began to walk. The same way God is going to be speaking to someone to lay your hands where that sickness is. And once he's saying that, what you studied in the university will be saying, listen, don't be a fool. You graduated with first class. Remember, and the simplicity of the gospel. For somebody who just lay their hands, and right there that will be the end of it I have seen God tell me to obey foolish instructions and in those instructions came power and defining moments in my life why do you tell an army that has been trained to walk around seven times over a city that was short nothing could go in and nothing could come out and yet he said the strategy keep your swords walk around day one i could see the elder saying this joshua this one that moses has died i hope this small boy is not making a fool of us let's just obey while we watch remember it's seven days of glory by the second day walk around and he got to a point where he said listen in addition to this labor i've got another instruction you thought you would say i've gotten another miracle i've gotten the last one that on the seventh day you will walk around the labor of the seven seven again and then the moment that happens where are the trumpeters you will sound it he said trumpet for a gate a fence that the bible says seven chariots could stand on even if you collapse it is still another fence you fight a fence with a trumpet didn't you go to school? 
But the Bible says when that happened, I, I could imagine the formation of the armies in heaven. Remember what we discussed. All you see is not all there is. The invisible realm. I could imagine angels standing and these weak men where they didn't know the power of the word of God, their obedience were about to reveal that. And when they shouted, Tehila, the Bible says the wall fell down. The walls fell down. Worry, believers, every wall can fall down if the conditions. Don't let Jericho intimidate you. Don't let Goliath intimidate you. Don't let Dagon intimidate you. They all fell down. Whether it is Dagon, whether it is Goliath, whether it is Jericho, even if it is Herod, they all fell down. The things that are written aforetime, the Bible says, they are for our learning so that we, through the comfort and the patience of Scripture, might find hope. This whole sermon tonight is the journey of my life of simple obedience to a great God. Maybe not from the background, maybe not from any human qualification. If it were by the normal sequence of life, some of us would be nowhere near the queue. But in the foolishness of obedience, take this step. Yes, sir. It is a risk. Yes, sir. I'd rather die with you in shame than to stand in my ego and not make progress. If it is you, I believe. How do you save the world by hanging on a tree? Do you save the world by hanging on a tree or killing Satan? Which one is more logical? The guy who caused the trouble, just kill him. So that the other, all the other sinners can die. Then the ones that are left, the babies that are born, will now be righteous. That would have been my strategy. If I were God, I would first kill Satan. Is that not how you quarantine terrorists? You carry the main trouble maker. And yet God came with another strategy. Jesus, even though you are the word, you will have to obey the condition that releases the power of God. Not even Jesus was exempted. So he carried the cross. The word looked weak. But his obedience was where the power of the gospel is. And when he hung upon that cross. With blood dripping out of him. And naysayers were there. Physician heal thyself. And he hung there. In that foolishness of obedience. Is the power of the cross. Today we sing. Up from the grave he arose. With the mighty triumph o'er his foes, he arose the victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. Worry, I bring you glad tidings that the word can become flesh. The word can become a job. The word can become pregnancy the word can become an estate the word can become your restoration the word can become anointing the word can become your victory the word can become your redemption but not under any condition there is a condition every time you study your bible find out the condition the condition for salvation is that without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. If Jesus explained, sang praise and worship, we will still not be saved. But he hung upon that tree. You laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me, suffered at the hands of those you have created. You took all my guilt and shame When you died and rose again Now today you reign Forever and now exalted I really want to worship you, my Lord 
You have won my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one who died for me Gave your life to set me free So I lift my voice to you Listen to me. You are one obedience away from releasing the supernatural to your life. Some of you here probably are businessmen and in the midst of the recession, you've heard that when men say there is a casting down, don't just quote it. What is the condition? No evil will come near me. A thousand shall fall by my right. You are not complete. Find out. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. That is the condition. He is the one who shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then in that condition I will now say. Are we together? Oh, no enemy can be able to. God will bring deliverance for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You are my hiding place. Is that true? That you always fill me with songs of deliverance. So God delivers, but how? Sometimes you can wake up in the morning and you sense that there is an attack. And one song will come. That's not a special number. That song there is a song of deliverance. Have you, listen, have you had periods in your life where no other song may seem to make sense? You will be singing it can be one line of the song you keep singing it until that release comes that is the condition for releasing the power of god over that situation for someone you wake up and you just sense i'm hearing that all my children are sick i'm hearing that everything is happening and then the spirit of god speaks to you and says lock yourself and dance for one hour lord dance the condition to release the word every time you are in disobedience remember my example the integrity of god is waiting with your promise but waiting for your obedience so the bible says it this way having the readiness to judge every obedience every disobedience when your obedience is entire or complete. Hallelujah. Our time is up. I'm going to pray. There are two things we are going to do here very quickly. The first thing we are going to do is to make an altar call. The second thing we are going to do is to pray. The third thing we are going to do is that I speak over your life. I want you to believe that listen to me I believe in Jesus with all my heart not because I'm a preacher I found out among many things that he's more than just a savior he's the Word of God before he was savior he was Word. his ministry as the Word is older than his ministry as the Savior are we together you come from Africa remember respect that the Word of God it was not savior that created the heavens and the earth he was the word so even though his ministry as savior has been complete as far as redemption is concerned he's still seated where he was again he's still the word and he showed me the rider upon the white horse the bible says he had a writing that was written is that true that on his tie was written the word of god there are people here I saw so many overflows from, from the screens. There are several, there are about 12 or so, I'm told there's, there's an overflow outside here that I'm seeing right now projected. There are several other overflows. Can you imagine? When, when they show you, wave your hands where you are. Let the devil see that you are here. All the overflows. As they keep showing us those overflows. Look at this. I don't know, this is, this is another one. Wave your hands. We are seeing you right where you are. Look at, there's another one there. Look at what is happening. My God. There's still more again. 
Now hear me, my God. I thought we were done. Look at this. It means we are soon going to go to the stadium one of these days. Now hear me. Wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, listen to me. Guess what the Bible says. For God so loved the world, he gave that word, that same word that makes all things. The word came as savior and died for you. There are many people who have not satisfied the condition for the life of God. You see, eternal life is real. The life of God is real. But you can be like that, our brother. Just stand in church and say God saves and still go to hell. Or you can be like the one who took that step. The prodigal son said, how many hired servants has my father? The condition to enjoy the prosperity of his father was that he would stay under the covering and the grace. But he wanted independence. With independence came lack. With independence came degradation until he began to feed with the swine. But hallelujah, there was an opportunity for repentance. But that repentance started, the Bible never said the Holy Ghost spoke to him. He said he came to himself and said, how many hired servants does my father have? And they have enough bread to eat and I'm here, I perish with the swine. He said, I will arise. That's where it starts from. I will arise and go to my father and say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against thee. I am not worthy to be called your son. He said, take me as one of your hired servants. The Bible says, as he got up and started moving, his father too started moving. They met somewhere. He never met him at the point of his mess. And yet, he didn't, father did not even allow him to reach home. God will always meet you somewhere at the point of your obedience. These signs shall follow. What does it mean to follow? You go ahead as a sign of faith. The signs never go before you. The signs never go with you. It is the Lord that works with you. But the signs follow. Follow means after your step. Listen, Bible history will tell us that as Moses commanded the people to go forward through dry ground, it wasn't that the river parted. Then they started moving. No. Someone had to take that step of faith as soon as their feet got there. For someone after this meeting, you may, you may obtain grace. Go and register the company. Don't wait and say, where is the money coming from? The signs follow. You sit down there and keep grumbling, you may remain poor forever. You can go and register that company. Are we together now? We're about to pray. But let me start with the altar call. I saw several overflows and I assure you by God that in every overflow, including this auditorium, and then our family watching from across the globe, Jesus is speaking to someone. Salvation is real, but there is a condition. What is the condition? The Bible says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in your mouth. That the word of faith that we preach, that if thou shalt confess with your mouth the lordship of Jesus and believe in your hearts that God raised him from the dead, he said thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth, man, uh, the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You don't assume salvation. Hallelujah. Like our father would do, I'm going to give someone tonight a chance for Jesus. You are saying, Apostle, while I heard you speak, the Holy Spirit began to tell me, no wonder the powers of witchcraft seem to still prevail over you. No wonder failure seems to repeat itself endlessly in your life. Could it be that ultimately you are looking for a temporal solution, counseling, some kind of advice and succor, whereas the permanent solution is to be translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son tonight is your chance and there are two groups of people in one that i will be calling those who are saying i have never met jesus but now i know he's my savior and is the word of god please give me a chance and let me come category one number two there are those who are saying apostle my life is like the prodigal son you just recited my life i remember i was once in the fold 
but for some reason I deviated and I've lived my life my life has gone haywire can there be hope for me let's go to the Bible that there is hope for a tree even if it be cut short he said at the scent of water it is the assignment of the tree to stay at the place of water I'm going to count one to five and as I begin to count one to five from this place I want you to run let's fill up this place if this place is full then wherever you are you can stand there as I lead you to pray I'm going to count one to five as we appreciate them please you sing for me that song Jesus the Son of God are you ready one two is someone celebrating salvation Come to Jesus. Oh, sing it to Jesus. Jesus Leave your seat and come to Jesus. He gives you an opportunity for a new life. The word of God is powerful that is able to save to the uttermost. But the condition is that you must be ready to sing receive it of to his Jesus. life. Keep clapping. Let's celebrate them as they come. All the overflows. You can walk to the front of your screen and just stand there as a sign of surrender. Oh, sing it to Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. If you're coming out, please come quickly. Those are the overflows. Leave your seat and walk right to the stage. Leave your seat and walk right to the stage. Jesus oh, is watching. Sing it to Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, I believe in you. I Now listen carefully it is a wonderful thing to come to Jesus 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 how I trust you how I proved you are Jesus Jesus precious Jesus oh for grace to trust now all of you who came out and for those who are following you are following from by way of television or internet from any part of the globe here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you are connecting watching from all across the globe here is your chance to make it right with Jesus please I like you to lift your right hand those of you who are in front everyone who has signified indicated lift your right hand high above your head and I want you to say this after me loud and clear you are saying it unto Jesus hallelujah are you ready say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word that your word is yea and amen I have come as a sign of love of surrender and obedience I receive forgiveness of sin I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that from tonight you are my Savior you are my Lord you are my king I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from tonight I am a child of God help them please help those under the anointing In the name of Jesus the Bible says the gospel is the power of God unto salvation help them please and backward never in jesus name keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father
The Bible declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. These ones have come in total surrender. Let this be the beginning of a new season for them. Based on the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And in the name of Jesus, I call you recipients of the life of God. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now here's what I want you to do for me very quickly. There are counselors behind, directly behind for those of you who are in front. May I please request that all of you move in concert. Just follow the counselors. They will have a word with you very quickly and you come back to your seat. Let's celebrate them as they go. All the overflows, please do as directed. Please do as directed. Hallelujah. Please lend me five more minutes and we're done. Like a symphony All in harmony We will raise you a song Please stand on your feet, we're about to pray It's a song of love No one But the one we adore one minute I like you to open your mouth and begin to pray Lord I am tired of this realm shift me to the realm where my results become extraordinary and supernatural go ahead and pray go ahead everyone please go ahead and pray everyone someone is praying man of God pray family people pray Business people pray. Shabakatolabada. Nekeprandeke paroto siata. Everyone pray, pray, pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Lord, I resign from natural living, the natural sequence of things. I soar with wings as the eagles. One minute someone is about to contact the supernatural the word is becoming flesh becoming flesh in your finances becoming flesh over your health Becoming health over your spiritual life. Someone is praying. Someone pray, your life is changing. 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me give us one more prayer point. Father, these Egyptians I see today, supernaturally, I will see them no more forever. Please open your mouth and begin to declare. Every mountain, every dagger, every Goliath, every herald, mocking the name of the Lord, concerning my life, in the name of Jesus, be ye lifted up. Someone is praying. 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 Every Egyptian in the name of Jesus, you will drown in the Red Sea. It is my season of liberty, supernatural exploits. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please listen. Please I want you to listen. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. My time is up. But I just felt stirred in my heart to just speak over sick people. You see, I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a testament of his healing power. We may not have the time to take testimonies tonight because of our time, but in subsequent sessions, you can have the liberty to announce. But here's what I will do. I was so happy when I saw Pastor Nat here. There is this grace that God has given this man of God, even with this chauffeur. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. You can stand for your children, your loved ones. Remember the centurion? He stood in for his son. He said, I will not need to come. You you don't have to come speak the word only lay your hands when you lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest hallelujah the name of Jesus I'm going to play with Pastor Nat he's going to blow this shofar ah. and from the realm of the spirit that invisible power of the highest. Mary said, how shall these things be? You are asking apostle, is it really true that I can be healed of this blood condition? I want to speak over your body and then I'll now declare generally, please don't let the devil deceive you to say, how shall these things be? Now that you have believed the word, the power of the highest is ready to overshadow you. I'd like you to be sensitive. Just help those under the anointing while he's blowing this shofar. Hallelujah. 
over someone's destiny please hear me if it is the supernatural all things were made by him something is about to be made in your life now please hear me as I speak and I declare still in this atmosphere I want you to receive remember blessed is she that believes for some of you as you are receiving this word that before you get home the power of God that defines time and distance would have already been creating things in your life are you ready to receive I stand upon the grace of our father and in the name of Jesus anyone here who has the proverb Ichabod written on your destiny that it is only shame and reproach right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare may your glory begin to shine forth may the glory of your destiny begin to shine forth in the name of Jesus hear me remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold I'm already doing a new thing but behold I decree and declare for someone the first six year, months of this year has been tragedy and pain but let me prophesy over the next six 
in the name of Jesus you will see the salvation of God you will see the salvation of God hallelujah let me prophesy Genesis 21 verse 1 over an, a woman here or a family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb the Spirit of God is speaking to me please help those under the anointing that you have been waiting and waiting how shall these things be seeing that my womb is not working seeing that the doctor said I have this and that he said Genesis chapter 21 verse 1 let this be the prophetic word for you and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken verse 2 the Bible says verse 2 for Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the mouth of the Lord has spoken I speak to everyone here trusting God for the fruit of the womb by this time seven days of glory 2023 you will return with children you will return with children please help them you will return us help them please you will return with children hallelujah and he carried me in the spirit of the lord and he took me to a valley and lo, he says they were very dry and he says son of man can that business live again son of man can that marriage live again son of man can that man to return to you like samson i prophesy to someone in the name of jesus the son of the living god oh ye dry bones financial dry bones marital dry bones in the name of Jesus let life enter you now every dry situation receive life in the name of Jesus hallelujah there was a man who was born normal but because of the carelessness of the midwives, they did not handle him well. And because of that, he had a situation that made him incapacitated. His name was Mephibosheth. The Bible says one time, David made a statement and said, Is there anyone in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? I'm about to call your destiny helpers. And the Bible says that Ziba had 15 sons. And yet none of the sons of Ziba was favored. He said he should go to Laodaba. And there they fetched Mephibosheth. And he came, he said, you will sit and dine with me for the rest of your life. Where are the helpers of your destiny? In the name of Jesus. I call upon Ebenezer, the one who helps men. That in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Between now and the end of this conference. I command them to appear to appear help us of destiny appear in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please help those under the anointing let me pray for every man of God here you have been frustrated in ministry you love jesus walking in righteousness but it looks like it is not working i pray that god who helps men in the name of jesus may he visit you every dying business here come back to life every parent here having an issue with your child maybe your child is going where what you have prayed by the power that raised christ from the dead the power that turned Saul to Paul. May your child be turned into a mighty man of God. Hallelujah. And finally, let me pray for you. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Hear me. It is a terrible thing to labor and invest and gather 
and then death comes to sweep you you see what is happening to people around that someone gets up in the morning my head my head and he just dies that death itself is supernatural it's just as a demonic one because that is not normal headache if there is anyone here the mark of death is on you while you are alive i stand by the blood of the eternal covenant i cancel it right now 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 by reason of this encounter tonight may your life begin to command extraordinary results supernatural results in the name of jesus christ the god of heaven is turning your life around in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you celebrate jesus hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you